I am gonna stop streaming uh, regularly. I think I'm gonna quit streaming. I know that some of you already know about this, and some of you, it may come as a shock or surprise, and I'm gonna <clears throat> turn this into a highlight and post this on YouTube and Twitter too. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I, I think I've decided to basically quit streaming, so February 22nd is my two year anniversary, and that's gonna be my final day. After that, I'm not gonna be streaming regularly anymore. <clears throat> now, I've written a whole thing, so... If you want to stay and listen to the whole thing, that's great. If not, I get it. Like I said, I'm gonna turn this into a highlight and post it online later. <clears throat> but anyway, I... There are some things I need to get off my chest, <clears throat> honestly, so... <clears throat> not really a surprise, but still had to see you go, matey. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. So... Um, <clears throat> let's start at the beginning. <clears throat> you know, when the beauty nerd first motivated and inspired me to stream two years ago, she said something along the lines of, you should try streaming. If you're gonna play a game, you may as well stream and have someone to talk to while you do that anyway, right? And honestly, she was right. I mean, it was really fun playing games while talking to people, I enjoyed the interactions with other people. It's why I kept streaming. But these days, honestly, I just... Streaming makes me feel miserable. And for a lot of reasons. <clears throat> for one, my viewership dropped from like 40 to 1. Sometimes the duchies will be here for like half an hour or so, and my viewership will be around 7, but it doesn't last long because of the time difference, which I totally understand. Like, <clears throat> nothing personal there, obviously. However, if I'm going to be sitting here and talking to myself like 80% of the time, then it's like, you know, I may as well just not really stream, you know, because it takes up resources and, like, it's better to enjoy a game when part of it is not being taken away by streaming. Um, and anyway, it feels lonely and depressing talking to the void. It's not really how I want my streams to be, because, you know, I started streaming because it was all about interacting with people. And if the people aren't there anymore, then there's really no point, right? It's joyless and depressing. Um, it's also a bit taken the joy out of gaming for me. So I used to just play games without thinking and I'd enjoy them. But ever since I started streaming, I've been blocking myself. It's like, oh, I can't wait to play this, but I gotta wait until I've got a stream on. Until then, I've just gotta play something else. Whether it's a day off or the weekend or vacation or whatever. I wouldn't allow myself to play certain games off stream. I learned to manage myself better eventually and have some games just for myself, but I still wasn't really content. It's why I ended up playing Elden Ring off stream, or at least starting it off stream. <clears throat> and even now, like, I'll still play it off stream for, you know, once in a while instead of just only playing it on stream. I just stopped caring. It's also been affecting my personal life too. Like, normally I would be streaming between 5.30pm and 9pm, which means less quality time to spend with my girlfriend, and she also dislikes being seen on stream. So I had to get like a stand with a green screen, but seeing as she's in Montreal right now, I have it folded up in the closet. And also, I never really took the time to like steam it, because it's really wrinkly right now. She does support my streaming though, which I really appreciate, <clears throat> but you know. I I just don't think I have what it takes to be a streamer. I don't have the management skills, charisma, humor, social media skills, or the competitive drive to be a successful streamer. It takes a lot of work, and I can respect streamers who have made it big. They've clearly worked hard. That, or they got lucky, or both. Some have been around for a long time, like they started back when it was still like Justin.tv or whatever. <clears throat> but for me, I just can't constantly try to connect with other people on social media and try to make highlights and clips. And anyway, it's, it's not like I have clips to begin with because I'm not really that funny or charismatic. And it's very rare that something funny happens to me while I'm playing games, so I don't even have <clears throat> the content required to make clips in the first place. Like, the last clip I made was like, Four months ago or something ridiculous like that, you know? It, it, 
I went from being a nobody to being an affiliate in two weeks, actually. And it was magical, you know? But it was mostly because of the outpouring support from IPK's community. Because at the time, I was a moderator and a video editor. I was a big someone in IPK's community, you know? But then once I became an affiliate, I started to spend a lot less time <clears throat> at IPK's. I even talked to Aikomi, uh, his girlfriend, and also moderator, and streamer. <clears throat> and I agreed to be demoted to VIP, you know, because like, oh, um, I'm streaming now part-time, so I have less time to dedicate to his community, so it's okay. I'll just be demoted to a VIP, <clears throat> and I'll still lurk um, and chat a little bit here and there. But then once that happened, most of my viewers stopped supporting me. Eventually, I lost my VIP status at IPKs as well because I wasn't active in his community anymore. And at that point, only had a few people left. To me, that tells me that most people were there mostly because of my status rather than my personality or my content. Or maybe I've just changed and they stopped liking my streams. But either way, that really hurt me. But, you know, I pushed through anyway. I was like, you know what? I'm sure I can get more people if I just focus on having fun. Well, two years later, it feels like I've made very little progress. I'm clearly not doing it right. And honestly, I think it's about time for me to acknowledge and admit that maybe streaming isn't for me. I'm not cut out to make it as a streamer. And you know what? That's okay. <laughs> because at least I've tried. <clears throat> Also, just to be clear, I'm not calling IPK or his community out. You know, what happened, happened. It is what it is, but... <clears throat> I'm, I'm just stating the facts, and it's time to move on. You know, I think I may still do occasional art or cooking streams whenever I feel like it, but... For the most part, I think I'm done with regular streaming for the foreseeable future. Maybe I'll try again someday, who knows? I really like ha having my own emotes, and I really like the few people who do show up regularly, <clears throat> like Martin, Durable Myth, uh, Dr. D, Michael, Beauty Nerd, Yuji. I really appreciate you people, I like you, and I'm glad that I've met you all through my, <clears throat> my time being a streamer. Um, I really like you, but yeah, that's just how I feel right now. Like I said, I've, I've met some pretty cool people, but I just don't think streaming is